All right, hey guys, welcome into Mr. Shooter's art class. Got a new video this week, one of them I'm excited especially for because it's one of my favorite things to draw. Um, this is how to draw a Nike symbol. So how to draw a Nike symbol. Um, it's a challenging little symbol to draw, but I think once you find some of the tips and tricks that I give you, I think it'll be pretty easy and effective that you guys can do it on your own by yourself. Before we get too involved in this video, make sure you hit that like button so I know you're liking this video and which videos you are liking. I can tell by that button that is hit down below on which ones have the most likes I can make more of those videos to help you guys out with your art abilities also while you're down there throw me a comment on your favorite Nike shoe we'll do during this um, since we are doing the Nike and of course if you have not I always forget to say hit that subscribe button down below the red button is the easiest way to get all my free fun videos that are coming out once every week at least if not more in that so let's get right into it for the Nike symbol the way I try to picture it is almost like a check mark that kind of goes down and back up but I think um, with a little curve onto that so just knowing that it's kind of like a check mark with a little curve I think will help you guys out so I would probably start with kind of a dot on one side and then maybe about the kind of the size of your hand maybe about the size of your hand about a dot on the other side at about the same level so it's important to know that the curve of the Nike comes back up to that kind of same spot. So I think it's if it's about as wide as your hand, I think that'll be a good kind of space. So you kind of take from that one dot, you kind of your curve kind of starts off going this way. So it kind of goes this way and then back up. Ooh, not too bad. Um, so it's important to know that this one is kind of like a curve or almost like a half circle almost and then it goes straight. And some people don't do that straight, they kind of make it go also right back up and then it's too short. But I think if it kind of stretches out a little bit longer, that kind of makes it a little bit more recognizable as the Nike symbol. So now that I did it nice and light, which I always tell you guys start out nice and light, I can make it a little bit darker so you guys can see that. So that goes right over there. Okay, now for the top part, um, it's kind of hard and tricky to start off from here because you don't know really where to go. So I always start from this way, kind of bringing that small and then it gets bigger and bigger as it goes back kind of over, I would say probably to about the middle over here. So kind of, if you ima imagine this, a line going here and a line going here, kind of hitting in the middle there. So that's what I'm gonna try to hit. And again, I start out lightly just in case I make a little bit of a mistake and then have a straight line again. A straight line just like this one, going back over to there. Again, I can make it a little bit darker on there. And then this curve will then go, not kind of straight over there, it kind of mirrors that same curve that you did over here. You kind of have that same curve over towards here. So you can kind of match both of your curves, curve from there and then a curve from here. So as long as you have that same style of curve, I think that is important. And then it's important also to come to a point on here and then a point over to here. And then that'll make it look most authentic like a Nike symbol. Um, this one's a little bit short. I felt like it was kind of a little bit squished. So as always, like I start off in pencil, that's why I would always recommend starting this off in pencil and not marker. You can always kind of stretch it out a little bit and kind of tweak it and kind of fix it. So I think this should be a little bit elongated and stretched out a little bit over here. Okay, so now I feel pretty confident about that. So I'm gonna kind of make this designed all up and with a background, of course, because I like doing backgrounds onto there, but that's your basic on how to do a Nike symbol. So color.
So there it is, got my Nike symbol. Of course, I had to do the background all fancy and awesome on there. I think it sets apart from any other Nike symbol that I have seen on there. I put a little white on this side and a white on this side, almost making it look like glass or it's got a little shine on it just to kind of, like I said, set it apart, add my own little touch of creativity. That's why I like when you guys add your own little touches of creativity to make yours different than anybody else would do something like yours. So again, thank you guys for viewing this video. Please keep on coming back here for more new videos every single single week on Mr. Shooty's art channel. So I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. And we'll talk to you guys later.